Randall and I are on our way to meet with David Lim, a New York City Port Authority police officer, who was one of the few to survive the collapse of the Twin Towers on 9-11. Along with the firefighters of Ladder Company 6, David also had stopped to assist a woman named Josephine Harris down the steps of Stairway B in the North Tower. Some of the other people that he had been with earlier who hadn't stopped perished when the building collapsed. Nice to meet you, Randall. Meet Indre. Hi, Indre. Indre, nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. On the morning of 9-11, I started heading up the staircase. I eventually, I actually got off at about the, I believe it was the 23rd or 24th floor. I heard the transmission that a, a second plane had hit. That's when I realized that we were under attack, you know, and that things are going to get a lot worse before they got a lot better. By the time I get up to the 44th floor, you know, there was actually a lot less people up here now, you know, and that was good. And then all of a sudden, look, there was this big explosion, right? And it blew out the windows on 44, you know. But it was, it was Tower 2 going down right, at this well, point. Well, you were there on 44? 44, 44 in, the first, in the first building. It must have shook you. Shook me, and, you know, it knocked me on my keister. You know? So now I gather the people left. We start going back down the B staircase. We keep on going down, right? And, you know, obviously, you know, every minute that goes by, we're starting to think, OK, any second now, any second now. Right, we get down to about the fifth floor, and that's where I run to Josephine Harris. Now, Josephine Harris had already met up with Ladder, uh, Ladder 6, Engine 9. I picked her up, and Billy Butler right, grabbed the other side, and we started going down the stairs. Now, I remember Captain Mazza yelling to me and saying, Davey, leave, leave her with the firemen and go out with us. I said, I already got her, so I'm not going to uh, stop now. Just go ahead. I'll be right behind you, boss. You know, that's basically what I said. A few minutes later, we're going down. The building starts to come down. And uh, it was sort of like an uh, onrushing locomotive. I don't know whether I lost consciousness or not. People ask me that. I'm not sure. But I thought you know, that I was dead. But then I coughed. And I said, well, you know, I, dead men don't cough. So if I would have listened to my boss, uh, and that's one of the things I won't forget, you know, that you know, if I, if I would have went out with her you know, and, and the other guys, you know, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. And also, it adds to my guilt, because all I, all I ever wanted to do was suck those people and all those other people I sent out of that staircase back into the staircase with me. Because I basically, if you look at it, I sent them to their death. But what you actually did, <clears throat> sending them ahead, staying behind with Josephine. Actually, you thought at the time you were putting your life at greater risk. Logically, that makes a lot of sense, Randall. It does. It makes, you know, you can stand there and say that, but when you're living it and you have to think about it, you don't think about yourself or those, or, or Josephine, you think about those people. You think about what you could have done differently. You know, you, you start to play with things in your mind. It doesn't make a lot of sense, yeah. right? But it's just what you do. You're alive today because you made a brave choice to stay with Josephine. True. We call it. I, I've actually thought about that. But again, other people made brave choices that day too. You know? They're, uh, you know, and they're not here to talk about it. You know, why me? Yeah. You know, I had a hard time with that. I've given it a lot of thought. And, you know, there's 3,000 other people I feel a lot more deserving than I am. Look, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I may be. I'd be a cop for 30 years. I wasn't an angel for 30 years, you know? Come on. You know, a lot of people out there are a lot better than me, I feel, that, uh, that, didn't, that probably deserve to live. <laughs>